We gonna vote for who because we love sneakers? This is connecting with black America because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Question for you on that point, though. Yeah. Will the people that are excited about the sneakers and excited about Donald Trump, will that translate into them going out and voting for Donald Trump? Well, anybody willing to put 400 bucks down for a pair of sneakers? Yeah, I think that's commitment and love. I it's hope something. You're right. It's something. It's effective. <laughs> Number one. We not going to ignore the way they've criminalized diversity, equity, and inclusion. Plus, these shoes is ugly. Number two, outside of Candace Owens and the rest of the Blexit Brigade, who do you think is going to be interested in the Air Fraud Ones, the January 6s? They gold, red, white, and blue. No. Number three, ain't no way in hell y'all think the January 6s, the Air Fraud Ones, is going to make us forget about how y'all bastardized the concept of being woke that come from our culture and community in the same sentence you're talking about how this man is so equipped of understanding culture? Oh, you smoking dope and dog food. Number four, Fox News was engaging in textbook pathological race hustling. You see what I'm saying? And race baiting, talking about some black people going to vote for us because they love sneakers. If you're willing to pay $400 for the sneakers, of course you're a vote for them. Who going to tell them? Number five, do y'all really believe after y'all chastise my community for supporting criminals that we going to support this criminal right here? Hell no. Nah. Number six, we standing with the watermelon state. Not the apartheid state. We know where you stand at. You know what we talking about right now? That you out your goddamn mind if you believe them ugly ass sneakers will make us just forget who you really be cheeking up with. Number seven, I still ain't forgot when he said that there are fine people on both sides and the other side with some tiki torch carrying maniacs. I still ain't forgot that. And them ugly sneakers, they ain't helping no better.